Issue 46 We start out seeing some Mobians and Chemical Plant lining up to receive a reward for loyal service to Eggman. And they were told to, so it's not like they have a choice. I wonder if they'll be put in Badniks. And I guess Eggman doesn't have enough Badniks built to put everyone into them at once since they were all in them already. There is also a special bonus where a citizen is forced to swap their life savings for an autographed photo of Eggman. I mean, it is, it is good. Something about the Fleetway Sonic that's really good is that we actually get to see how the world would be like for regular civilians if it was run by Eggman. Because it's not like everybody is a mindless robot or a badnik. But aside from like fleshing out his world, his country, I really don't see why we needed to spend a quarter of the issue focusing on the people being led into an obvious trap when we could have just cut to Sonic. And why did Tails even bother to put on a disguise when his two tails would immediately give him away? Stupidity ensues, as for some reason some of the people don't believe Porker about the convention being a trap to turn them into badniks, even though the convention is literally supposed to be propaganda about how it's great to be a badnik. Then the badniks promptly ruin that for Eggman, as they fly towards the doubting people and immediately make them stop doubting, so why bring that up? Sonic destroys the Eggman statue for churning out the badniks in the first place. In the next story, Short Fuse, who's become a cybernick trying to resist the brainwashing somehow, shoots a robot and Eggman is fine with it despite complaining about him wasting a robot. He tells him to lead some badniks to attack Emerald Hill Zone where he used to live because him destroying one of his robots isn't an immediate clue that he has his free will. Now completely no worse, Short Fuse indeed did resist the brainwashing and fights to save the citizens. Bullshit, it would have made sense if the brainwashing was undone by Porker reprogramming him, but no. Oh, okay, he explains that it's also because of the damage he did to Eggman's computer when he was trying to keep him from turning people into badness. Okay, that makes sense. I just wish they weren't trying to also have me believe he resisted brainwashing from sheer stubbornness, because that's just really stupid. This is shows by Lou Stringer. In the first story, we spend way too long seeing the citizens' as mystical side things as it led to an obvious, obvious track by Eggman when we could have just cut to Sonic trying to save them and beating Badniks right away. There's nothing to say about this other than there's an enraging part where some people don't believe Porker about the trap from Eggman's statue. Otherwise, it's as generic as Sonic can get. He beats Badniks to the end. At least it was kind of creative generating the Badniks from an Eggman-shaped statue instead of them just being there. And the second story has Short Fuse pretend to lead Badnix to his home only to protect it, unfortunately it's explained properly. He damaged the computer, which is why he kept his free will. Alright then, just don't try to have me believe you can be stubborn enough to resist brainwashing. That's dumb. Nothing else to say about this, since the plots were too basic.